Hi, I'm Michael Gordon. Next week we get the GDP figures for the March quarter. We'll be releasing our pre preview of that shortly, but so far it's shaping up to be better than our initial estimate of a flat result. The absence of overseas tourists was a drag on growth over the summer period, and that did play a part in the 1% drop in GDP that we saw in the December quarter. But for this year, it looks like there was enough strength in domestic activity to counteract that. In particular, we saw some strong gains in construction, manufacturing and retail spending for the March quarter. Now on the latter, that does look like it's continued as the year's gone on. Card spending was up about 2% in May and that was following a 4% jump in April. Now the move to Alert Level 3 in Auckland probably slowed things down a bit in the previous couple of months, but setting that aside, the under underlying trend still looks pretty solid. We're also expecting to get the latest house sales figures from Ryan sometime next week. Now it's very early days still since the government's announcement in March, which included a range of measures aimed at clamping down on property investors. The limited data that we have to date suggests that the housing market has cooled, but just a little since then. We were particularly interested in the mortgage lending figures for April. Now allowing for the fact that April is usually softer than March anyway because of the public holidays, it looks like the overall lending actually held up for the month. Within that, we've seen investor lending pull back in the last few months. Some of that will be around the government's policy changes. Some of it will be due to the reintroduction of loan to value restrictions. But as investors have pulled back, we've also seen home buyers have been willing to step in and pay these kinds of prices. I think that speaks to the ongoing appeal of record low mortgage rates, but it also underscores our point that the real challenge for the housing market will come once those shorter fixed term rates that borrowers tend to favour start to rise. Talk to you next week.